Twitch joints. You have somebody that wants to be jumping in a little bit more to be able to get some air combo started. One that thrives off of juggles, one that thrives off of, you know, just like solid side to side combos. Maybe get a couple of spikes as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it is going to play out in Winner's Finals of Rushdown Win Revolt. Nerf Finals, Rushdown Revolt 2022, friends. Let's lock it in. Let's see how it goes. First one to draw blood right here is the Star X. And honestly, I'm not surprised. I think in order for the Green Falcon to make any sort of real plays, has to, you know, whatever movement options that you're already showcasing, you got to really amplify it by two. Even if, like, oh, yeah. you don't find the opening, use your movement as a way to threaten Starma X. Starma X right now said, oh, you too damn close. You too close. You need to back it up right now. Oh, yeah. And this is where Green Falcon's going to shine. You see Green Falcon already trying to come in off stage like that, has to use up the boost, and Starman X does not let that kind of commitment go unpunished, making sure to turn that into an opening, making sure to take a stock off of that, saying, hey, you want to get an early edge good on me? Mm -mm. Oh, idiot, you're off stage. You're Rick, in a vulnerable position. You are in a very bad spot. I'm glad you brought that up. I mean, we're going to see that option come out a little bit more, too. In those moments where Green Falcon is like, oh, are you off of your feet? Okay, it's time to play the Flores Lava game. Again, while I got the chain out, my weight is a little different. Your combos might not be as airtight as you think they are. Plus, I have burst, plus the dive kick to mix things up. So, let's see how it all unfolds right now. Starman X with a very, very comfortable lead, getting them hands dirty. He said, this is the game you want to play. Well, damn it, let's play it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and going out there, able to get that as well. Is this going to follow up into something? Can you dash to that knife? Still gets that spike. Has to use up the boost to get those resources back and doesn't make it back on. Already a four to two stop lead. Oh. Starman X is not slowing down anytime soon. Absolutely not playing like the star that they know they are. There's the down throw. Big shout out to the staff right there on the water, keeping me hydrated. This match right here, keeping me locked in. Now, again, the, the platform manageability even starts when you're not on the platforms as well, too. No oh, yeah. understanding that, boom, Green Falcon, I'm on this platform. I'm trying to come in as aggressively as possible, either with, like, short hop Nair off this platform or a charge forwarder. If I stay on the opposite side of the stage and I just go short hop forwarder myself as Reyna, you're not coming in for free. I control the distance and the timing of the match, but, oh, my goodness, you lost control right there that first stock. There's the down throw to close it down. Oh, yeah. But, okay, now just oh. opening off the stock again. Hop commits a little bit too much. Will you get punished for it? Not quite. X does not oh. land the spike that he was looking for. Spike, spike, spike again. Falling for you as well. Just making it Green Falcon's life so difficult. All for a single commitment. Just one commitment off stage. Sometimes less is more. I mean, you slip up once and people will be there right there to watch you as you fall and kick you while you're down. Okay, oh, damn, Ooh. but that time did it to himself, unfortunate. And that's kind of strange, you know, Starman X, I mean, we see the offstage presence with Reyna, but the character design like this doesn't really need to go offstage as much to get some of them KOs, but just the threat, the sheer presence of mind was enough right there to make Green Falcon just kind of SD. Kind of taking a page out of the Green Falcon's book. We've seen that just in the last match. Oh, my. And tries to clean it up with a spike, but leans in a little Down bit too much to the left, didn't fully drift to the right. Uh, not really anticipating the DI on that. And now X just going to be looking for a way to land, a way to be able to find this next opening against the whip. That's such a difficult task, though. Yeah. Look and at this spacing. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's just a tough one. That down to right to the up air, too. I mean, this is such a, a rough position to be in, especially when you want to play it safe. You think you're safe up underneath those platforms, but she can stand right outside like that little circle hub and even maybe like a couple character lengths back and just really control the other side of the room without even having to get close. So... That right there is going to really thwart a lot of what the shiny wants to bring to the table right here, but does have full meter. Can mix up the approach options here. Doesn't seem to matter early. So I'm going to pop it. I got to pop it because you're getting crazy right now. Yeah, trying to find that juggle with the up strike. Was not able to find it. Just spacing out all these buttons oh, on block. Damn. Making sure to catch that jump as well. That entire game was suffocating. That felt like X was suffocating Green Falcon. That's facts, yo. Starman X had a Green Falcon in a chokehold right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at these replays so you can know exactly what it is we're talking about. Now, I actually flips up the situation right there stands right up underneath the plaver and look at how much pressure they can apply gets caught slacking at the ledge leaves their feet and just when you think it's safe to overextend back in you wanted that platform or maybe you wanted to get right up underneath it starman x said whatever the option was i got it covered you ain't gonna have no fun here let's see what game number two brings us though maybe green falcon showcase a little bit of adaptation here Oh my gosh, the falling side strikes as well, just always spacing out, always able to just have the threat of leading into a bigger punish as well. Able to cover that. Did you see that catch on that dash in? That was beautiful stuff. Got that punish, but now how do you make it back onto the stage? And that is the million dollar question in a game like Rushdown, especially when there's no platforms. Sometimes it's not even enough about getting back onto the stage. How do I just mm -hmm. save myself? Platforms. You know, when they're not there, it just becomes a big issue. I mean, we see this most notably here. Ashani is the one that usually plays the Sharky game. They smell blood in the water. It's like, oh, you're off your feet. Say less, fam. Here's up B. Here's up air to keep the 
keep the damage coming, but let's try to kind of get a little taste for our own medicine. Can't get back onto solid ground. The projectile keeping him off the feet, and I have to pop it. Well, I got to keep it. It's like, I got to pop it. The pressure's too much. Just dashing in, dashing out. Yet again, it's the same exact situation. Boy, he to three, and always X is the one that's controlling septic stage. Going to be able to fall down with that neutral aid. Doesn't find the biggest extension, though. Green Falcon trying to get this chase down, trying to find this jump in, but always just slightly whiffing, always getting spaced out. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing off the standing jab right here, and I like this. Green Falcon starting to slow the game down a little bit. We've seen that uh, versus, I want to say Keiko earlier, just kind of walking up closely, letting him swing, saying, you know what, cool, you're swinging aggressively. Once I shield this, it's my turn. Let me check your temperature with standing jab. Try to push the advantage more in my favor. Yeah. Not getting quite anything off it, though. Walking up slowly. Okay, trying to shift the pacing a little bit more. Don't try Ooh. to slow the game down on Starman X, he said. Don't try to slow it down on me. I got this whip for a reason. Okay, trying to go out there for the spike. I love the boldness of it and still able to make it back onto the stage unscathed. This continues to be Styleman X's advantage state. One HP, but that's all that it's going to take. Four stocks to two. Still not losing a single one. This is all X. Yeah, this is just prime time control. I mean, we've seen it in the last game too. We're like, okay, boom, we got we got some... We got some platforms right here for me to stand on top of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let you stay grounded. You're going to swing. The minute that swing comes out, it's kind of like yep. Min Min in Smash. The minute you extend, I'm trying to get in in between. But right now, with no platforms, I'm kind of playing you heads up. And you're it, it almost feels like a mini game, if you will. It's like you're trying to call my bluff. And the minute I second guess, because you're so much longer than me, that's when I fall into your trap and I'm in trouble. Oh my so gosh, able to get that juggle again and again and again, <laughs> over and over. But going to be going out there through the spike and still up specials back onto the ledge. Still not going to be able to get that edge guard. Still going to be sitting on his first stock here. The question is, can Green Falcon find a way to clean this up? I feel like some of these jump ins are becoming predictable. They're becoming exploitable. I would have to say so <laughs> myself. And right there, both sides were burstless. Unfortunately, no way to get out of harm's way. And with this in mind right now, Starman X looking really good here, but has looked better. Last hit right now. This ain't out of the realm of possibility, Green Falcon said. Don't count me out quite yet here, my friend. Yep. Okay, wait. Okay, nice. Okay, just backs off towards the stage. Good idea to not keep on pushing. Not idea. Good idea to not like get like too pretty with it. Just to put your feet back onto the ground and maybe try again the next day. Yeah. Now, as much as we keep this match grounded, this could be the best thing ever in the world for Green Falcon. This can actually come back and bite him in the butt. As you, can, as you see right now, it kind of looks like it's helping him out, reading the tech options, letting him go for get-up attacks, or maybe just rolling into harm's way. The minute that you do that, falling up here or falling back here right there gets it started. Nice. Gets the dive kick. Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. Star man playing like the star that they are. Okay, and still not able to actually punish that up special. Though. Beautiful stuff from Green Falcon, but now all of a sudden, last stock, you have no boost left. It's going to be so guff, especially at this position. How do you make it back onto the stage? Yeah, the manageability of your tools are ever so present in a match like this, especially when you're going to struggle to get on a character like Reyna. And unfortunately, with no burst, I mean, it just becomes a bit more of an issue right now. The swap is yep. ready, but no swap needed at all. He said, we swapping anything. We swapping over to the next game, my friend. Yeah, I Clean feel like stuff. Uh, X is just like so proficient with like both of these weapons. When you do have like the knife on deck, just like so good at catching those jumps. When you yep, do yep. have the whip, just so good at spacing out your opponent. X, um, I just feel like has made it so uncomfortable for Green Falcon to have any space that a lot of these jump ins have become predictable. Yeah. A lot of them become exploitable. Uh, just setting up into so many juggle situations. Yeah. You know, these options are starting to get scouted out maybe just a little bit too much, and maybe that could be a good thing for Green Falcon. I mean, as dangerous as Reyna is, you know exactly what it is she wants to do. The issue with how she's designed is can I stop you from doing it? Probably not. But if you can try to catch her in between these swings, you might be in a good spot. But I think in order to do that, you have to stay a good distance away from her, which is, again, the game that Starman X wants to play. So it's a bit of a catch-22 right here in the way you approach her. No doubt about it, though. We got a bit of a swap right now. Nice gets the down tilt. And again, these platforms, they are, sheesh, I mean, they are just not in Green Falcon's favor at all. Oh, yeah, all. not at all. Especially, like, with a lot of those upstrikes. Uh, Starman X is just covering so much of the space so, so effectively. Backing down to the ground now. Just going to be looking for that projectile extension. Does not actually find it. But uh, again, you just see, that's the one backing off. Green Falcon finally finds an opening. Can you get this fight? Can you get that follow-up? But that recovery mix-up, not going to the ledge, immediately getting back to center stage. Uh, that's how Starman X avoids disadvantage. Okay. Guy's going to go for the 
down tilt right there. Doesn't get anything off of it. And I like this space right here where Star Man is kind of playing. And right outside of that left platform, you go high. I got enough. I got enough distance on this whip right here to cover it. I can anti air the hell out of you. You try to, you know, approach me grounded. I can either go for like back here, or I can go for down tilt as well too. So there's a lot of options. There's a lot of ways to keep it as ambiguous as possible. Ooh. But the same can be said for Green Falcon. The parry game and the shield game have been ever so present. Just such a dominant force here in this set. Up air, nice. Ooh. Back it up. I got a burst. Back up. And you know what? Hey. I think this entire set, this is the first time that Green Falcon has a lead. Granted, only a 21 HP. You have to use that boost to be able to make it back on. And then, wow, still able to get that spike. That lead meant absolutely nothing. Yeah, I mean, it was able to hold on to it for a little bit, but would have liked to see, you know, maybe kind of the chip away game. I mean, we see that a lot from Star Max just because, you know, he's had the lead for so much in this set. He's like, he gets the lead, and the minute it feels just a little close, he's like, okay, now time to become a distance demon. Back off, let you come to me, and I'm going to chisel away it. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, it gets yep. forced off the ledge right there. You better watch it. Don't stay in the corner for too long. Oh, these tech chases are so clean here from Green Falcon. Okay, great. And I'm just going to be looking for this next opening. The projectile is going to be it. And again, I feel like when it comes to grounded pressure, uh, wow, Starman X really applies it. Whereas I feel like a lot of Green Falcon's tech chases, some of them do tend to be cut short a little bit. One, two piece combos and then a whiff. And then Starman X is just able to find a whiff punish. Going out there, getting that spike, jumping on in so aggressively. That was beautiful. And just Wait a little bit too far to make it back. Yeah, absolutely a little too far. But Dar, this could be the start of something really good here. Now, 57 HP, of course, is still a lead. But it ain't that much of a lead, especially with how quickly we've seen stocks disappear at the hands of Green Falcon Knight falling down there. Nothing off the border right there. A little missed time to say, oh, did you just overstand off stage? Say less, fam. I got you covered. Yeah, trying to right now land like with some of those side strikes. Not able to find it, but the down end is going to be a huge opening. Doesn't space out that down tilt, but I love the attempt nonetheless. Okay, that down tilt. Such a scary thing to work around right here. We don't really get to see Green Falcon capitalize as much off it. The down air, though. Nice. I'm just going to dive right in. Say less, fam. I got you. Yep. Okay. Final game right here, potentially here for Green Falcon. Would love to see the way that he can clean this up and push this to a game number four and hopefully a five. Nice. Gets the down throw. Okay. Which way are we going with it? You're not going to be able to drift back onto those platforms. I got that cover too. Falling up there. Oh Wait a minute. I'm bursting. He said, look, ain't no damn way. I'm bursting. Back it up. Yeah, just able to reset the situation there. But again, this advantage state is so powerful and then ends up neutralizing in the wrong direction. I love the attempt, but uh, yeah, just covers the wrong space at that moment in time. Still resets though. Still is able to go out there. Will this be the next big hit? But no, whips that side track. That's the opening uh, for the Starman X to be able to land. Okay, final hit right here. No burst right there to mix up the recovery option. Oh, mm. gets a second lease on life just to get it taken away right here from Starman X. Now this is not out of the realm of possibility just yet. Woo, Has to burn the burst. Yes. I mean, if there was ever a time to burst, I got to keep it a stack. It was right then and there because Green Falcon was, that was the start of something scary. Okay. Oh my gosh, able to land, able to get this going again with all of these ground pound combos just bouncing off of the platform. Starman X is not giving up, not relenting at all. Just keeping up all this pressure and then pushed in a little bit too far. Green Falcon finally able to get a couple hits. Okay, goes for the standing jab right there. Push him into the corner, just checking that temperature and more, and most importantly, killing that momentum. That okay, whiff. back up. Yeah, I know, a scary whip at that. Can you really afford to whip right now? Uh, not at all, yeah, 57 HP. But now the question is, can you close out the stock? I feel like Starman X keeps getting away with a lot of these high oh. recoveries. Oh. Green Falcon's never in that ambiguous position. Okay, I thought we were going to see a charge for it air right there. Not at all. You got to get this stock taken as quickly as possible. Last hit right there, and then you still got a whole nother stock to work around. Final hit if you're lucky. Final hit if you're lucky. Okay, not giving it to me. Nice. I like the switch Patience. too. Patience. Yeah, just being so oh. slow. He breaks that shield, has to jump. That's going to be the okay, spike. Do you have any tools? You oh. do not have a dodge. You can't make it back on. Popping okay. off. Wow. A well-deserved pop off at that, my friend. I got to give it to him. That was a match right there. Yes. Dap it up. Hug it out right there. We're popping oh. off. But, you know, it was hard felt. Mm. You know, we, we fought hard to the very finish. But at the end of the day, the stronger player right here, at least according to the winner side of bracket, was Star Mags. Green Falcon, though. Got to give it to Green Falcon. Not mm -hmm. a shiny. That was nut nice. Yeah, no, that's that's what I love to see. I love to see those kinds of pop-offs. I love to see people get so excited over that. And honestly, definitely an amazing reason to. After oh, you get that wow. kind of a block, uh, break, you break that shield, you're just all out of options at that position. You have to recover low. You're in such a nasty disadvantage. I feel like between the two, Starman X, his advantage state, his juggles, his spacing, mm -hmm. all of it was phenomenal. Look at that pop-off. Yeah, let's go ahead and see the... Can, can we get a hitbox on that too? 
I'm is, a, is, I'm is a it, Yo, thank you, Dev. I got to see what the hitbox was in that pop off because that looked hella plus. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, 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 that's that's plus. That yeah, might even be tiny, a, right? Really small, not not a disjoint or anything. But oh my god, that's that's a huge button. Yeah, I think that that was like a frame, like one startup, and he might even be he might even be blue. He might even be Kazi when smash. He might be intangible right there. His whole body intangible, only yeah. the fist, an active hitbox. Break shields. <laughs> Breaks your opponent's spirit. That's right. Okay, there it is. Okay, that was like frame. That was like frame three or four. Still, still pretty fast. Yeah. And then, of course, the command grab hug. It's all love right here. Come here. Get over here. Calling hugs command grabs is like my favorite thing to do now. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, somebody gives a big big hug, I'm like, oh, damn. Command grab. Come here, homie. <laughs> That's right. All love right here defending North 2020. We're moving and grooving here through the rush down revolt bracket. If you're just tuning in, it's Rod, it's Dar. We're just having a great time yeah. right here. Top four, but honestly, the action this bracket is bringing feels like a whole top 32, a whole top eight. I mean, it's been electrifying from the very start, but that was winners. You know where we got to go to now. We got to go to Upset Boulevard. It's time to take that dip over to the party bracket. I'm scared. Yeah.